so you know i always tell people be careful how you treat people because the tears of a choosing the tears of a choosing um, and the tears of a joseph so if you messed up with a choosing their tears can never 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 be withhold it rushed like a word like an ocean to the to what to god when came ki abel the blood was crying to god this is how the tears of a choosing is that is why whoever that messed up with a choosing end up regretting heavily why because you can't mess up with a choosing and remain the same that is why if you so to any word any any man of god or anybody either is homeless out there or is someone you know that is indeed in need of something you so to them genuinely you will never never be able to explain how god will reward you the person may not have something to do to reward you back the person may not have something to do to you know to 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 reciprocate the way you do meaning to give you back but god himself will never forget the deed you do that's why he said do good to all men but mostly to them that are in christ that means there's a reason why he says so why because you can do good to people up there they may forget it but once you do good to a choosing god himself we have it as a register that is the same way if you messed up with a choosing if you cause them to do it to shed tears you will never go unpunished so the reason why i say the tears of joseph is because i know how joseph cried when his own brothers threw him into the pit and they still bring him out and they sew him to the sleeve i i can imagine what he passed through through the not only in the what in the what in the prison i can imagine what he passed through in the process the maltreatment the treatment the frustration everything that they caused him i can imagine how it feel to be a slave their tears that is why god suddenly make his his what his dream to come true in a mighty and unexpected way so the tears of a choosing can destroy the man he think about the life of human in the book of is esther if you have not read it go and read the word the book of esther and know how the tears of esther and his brethren destroyed the life of Haman. It was the tears, the cry, because the Bible said they fasted to God. They asked God to give them favor. They asked God to favor them. The tears that they share is what forced God to cost Cain to find to give favor to Easter. So that tears is the same tears that caused her book destruction mystery in the life of Haman. The tears that come out from the eyes of David is what caused the damage in the life of Saul. Saul would have not been rejected as a king if eventually he didn't have that mindset to destroy a chosen like him. Because Joseph said to him, how can we fight our own? How can we fight ourselves when we are one? when we are god when we are a choosing when we are brethren when joseph have many privilege to kill him so i can't kill whom god have already anointed because he know the the what they may be the implication they know he know the consequences he know the damage that follow whenever you hurt someone who is called a choosing so people who hurt you we we totally regret why they did so and many of them are regretting severely for messing up with you so what am i trying to say the tears of a choosing can never be hidden you can run away from any other thing but you can never hide from the tears of a choosing you can never escape the punishment of what of messing up with a choosing 
no matter how you try to run away, no matter where you try to escape to go, you can never escape it. That is why you need to be careful who you mess up with, who you talk, to, who you talk with, who you join to be to it. Because if you messed up with a chosen, the coming back is greater than the word that they set back. Because the way God will bless them in your front will be a huge surprise to you. So brothers, many people are going to be devastated, hurt. Why? Because your coming back after they messed up with you is going to be greater than your setback. <laughs> if you messed up with the chosen, their tears will run your life, can destroy your, you totally. So remember, blessed brothers, let's be careful whom we messed up with. Because if you are envy of a chosen and you decide to go far to betray them, to cause them pain, go and ask those who have done it. They will explain to you what they have experienced, their encounter with the chosen. Because you get why. Remember, blessed.